Hi there, I'm Nate 8, and I'm here to talk about foot pedals for navigating virtual environments. Now, these are pretty crude little Guitar Hero pedals, actually. This was uh, manufactured by the React Corporation, and uh, it's, it's for something with Guitar Hero. I don't know. I, all I do know is that VR is going to need some robust control schemes. It's, it's going to need more inputs than we're used to using just with 2D monitors and mice and keyboards. And I think I have something actually inspired by Battletech and, and the Firestorm pods that you are lucky if you've had the chance to experience. Um, basically, they use a, a joystick and throttle, as you, you might expect from sort of a pseudo-tank game, but they, they have these analog pedals, similar to but more rugged than these, and you have the option of using those for turning inside that simulation, and it works really well. And in attempting to sort of replicate that experience, I decided to gut one of these little things and stick an Arduino in there and turn it into an HID joystick. And the result, I think, it, it was useful and kind of fun for Battletech, but for VR, I think this or something like it, whether it be pedals or a Wii balance board or one of these other weird things like a, a Coda foot pedal for, for trolling boat motors, whatever that thing Squibfire was talking about, or wobble boards, or God knows. I just think that foot control is going to be an integral part of the overall, well, the best Rift experience. You know, you can get by just with a, a gamepad, but I don't think you're going to want to. And I'd like to walk you through the control scheme that I see for this pedal. All right, so here we are in a little demo that I've cooked up in Unity. And I used a, a terrain generator to make this kind of crappy uh, map for this. <laughs> but everything else is stock. You know, there's a, there's a first person controller that's a, a standard asset now, and I, I've modified that a little bit. I, I added a bunch of joystick logic that still has kind of a weird bug in it, but this is working, and I'd like to show you exactly what I envision here. Okay, so what you're looking at is a third-person view on the top screen here of this sort of overly large red player object, okay, and right now he's looking into this third-person camera, and down here you see the first-person view. You know, the camera would be up here where these sliders are. Now, these sliders are indicating where the pedal, the joystick, and the mouse are currently oriented. Okay, so I'll bring the, uh, the pedals up into the frame here, and you can see what's going on. If I push the right pedal down, the body of the player turns. And you can turn as fast as the engine will allow you, you can turn very slowly if you need to. You can do a quick 180. You know, this is going to be pretty important in a lot of games that I envision, you know, head tracking and VR, it's going to be neat to need to be looking around your environment in ways that you couldn't with a 2D screen. And something like this helps with that. Now, of course, these are these are analog, they're constantly outputting data. You can see if you hold one pedal all the way down and then push the other one down, you're dead center. So they're, they're constantly outputting data. They're being pulled at 25 milliseconds currently, and it feels pretty responsive. You know, it's, it's maybe not perfect, but it's close enough that I think this, this adds a layer of control that is going to be really helpful. Now, complementary to that, you can take something like this PlayStation 1 style gamepad, okay? And on the left thumbstick, the middle control there, let's turn ourselves so you can see this, the, the middle control here is showing where the joystick is, 
Okay, so if I push it forward, I walk forward. And again, this is completely analog. Pull it back, right? I'm pushing forward, pulling back. And then left and right on the thumbstick would be strafing. Okay, so now you have complete control of sort of the, the WASD and at least turning in one hand and two feet. And you have your other hand completely free to do whatever you need to do. And on top of this, in this demo at least, I have the mouse independently controlling head motion. So you can see the third little slider cross there shows us where the mouse is oriented compared to the body. So like right now, I'm sort of 180 degrees, you can see. I'm sort of looking behind and if now on the thumbstick I push forward, right, I'm looking behind me walking forward. I'm looking behind me walking backward. And if I do something like, say, look off to the, the left, 90 degrees or so, now I'm walking forward, looking off to the left, walking backward, strafing around. Okay, and obviously that sort of mouse look is going to be what the camera is going to be doing with head tracking. You know, that's that's going to be offloaded to the Rift. And I really think that trying to control turning or, or any kind of body orientation with your head is a losing proposition. There are going to be a lot of games made like that, and it's not going to be good for anyone. It's it's not going to be a positive VR experience. You know, it, it might be okay as a gimmick, but ultimately you're going to want to be able to look around and move around independently. And I think this is one way to do that. Okay, so here's a quick peek inside the pedals here. The only surprising thing about this is that they're really not that large. This is about a six inch roller, right? So each individual pedal is less than five inches long. And, you know, the, uh, the distance that it travels, really not very far. The, uh, you know, that's, that's about two inches of actual turning that you get. The Firestorm pedals that inspired this project are much larger and probably more precise, but they have the, uh, the problem of being much more expensive. And, you know, if this works, hey. So on the inside, you know, I had to chop a, a bunch of pieces out here, but basically all you've got is an Arduino Uno wired up and sticking out of the, uh, the on-off port. You know, you've got your linear 10K potentiometers. I had to take the ones that were in here out because they were weird and stick some, uh, some washers in there. And then you've got your springs on either side of both pedals. But, you know, it's, it's a very simplistic design and it doesn't need to be more complicated than this. If, if you were building these in a production sort of way, you would just you would have a little tiny circuit board with most of what's on an Arduino in it, some wires, some potentiometers, and you know I I picked both of these up for I think under ten dollars on eBay, and now that the Guitar Hero craze has mercifully run its course, I'm willing to bet that there's a warehouse of these things somewhere in the world, and the person in charge of that warehouse would absolutely love it if I bought a bunch of these for pennies on the dollar. So, you know, if you are that person or you know that person, please uh, let me know. So the question I have for anyone viewing this video is, will this work? Does this sound like a good idea? If you can take my word for the fact that the pedals feel pretty good, responsive, and, you know, adding that extra element of control that I think is going to be useful if not necessary once we all get our rifts 
is there something that I'm missing here? Is is there a competing product on the market that isn't a flight sim rudder or something? Is Oculus working on some kind of foot controller as perhaps they ought to be? And do they need a senior foot pedal guy if they are? Or is this something that I should be thinking about sending to Kickstarter? Is there a large enough contingent of, of people getting rifts soon who would be interested in, in buying one of these pedal rigs for $50 or so? Or is it the kind of thing that we, we need a, a different way of getting these out or we need to wait until the, the rift actually goes into production full scale? Are, are people going to want to build these things on their own with the instructions that I've laid out? I, I'm just, I'm looking for some, some comments here. I, I, I'd be interested to know what the community or what anybody thinks about this idea and where it can go and where I should take it and who else needs or wants to be involved. So if you have any thoughts on the subject, please head over to meant to be seen comment on the thread that this video is living in put it on YouTube whatever just let me know I I'd love to hear more about what you think and where this might take all of us